Right then, welcome back to Besiege. They've added things. It, I don't mean to say that as if I'm surprised, but they've added some significant things. As clearly seen, balloons. And this... <laughs> This is rather wonky, to say the least. I'm not too sure how this controls. I'm sure there's something that's going to blow me up in it. Like, I've got to be careful what I press, because if I press the wrong button, then that bottom bit's going to explode. Yeah. <laughs> Don't press V. Okay, so I is to go up, H is to go that way, and L. You see, this is just... This is magical. It truly is. Are there, there are sources down there. And turn a bit, that, no, wrong way. Okay, quickly, quickly, and drop me! You see that? This works! Whoever sent this in to me, thank you very much. Oh, it's falling apart? <laughs> Fair enough. Right then. I think I finally cracked it, I've got an effigy of a man floating in the air and he's got a knob! That's, that's literally the gimmick. I'm, that's, we're just gonna keep on going up, aren't we? <laughs> we ain't ever coming back down. <laughs> oh my, what, what the hell just happened there? Uh, a camera? Camera? What the, what happened? Oh ho 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 ho! Dear me. You see, I don't think we're going to be able to take off when he's at full mast. I truly, I don't. I also think I'm going to have to actually make something different because this is just goddamn ridiculous. This one's called Beyblade. But you, how is? Oh wait, hang on. I think I understand how it's Beyblade because you, you let you, you as as they say, let her rip. Holy shit! It really is a Beyblade. Well, kind of. Probably the closest thing we're ever going to be able to create. That's really cool. Can I get it to move at all? I mean, you know, without destroying me. Hopeful. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we do have to get just a little bit knocked about. I mean, this is essentially Blender 2.0 with a disposable and detachable blade. Heads up. Oh, <laughs> oh that's grim. I think the term letter rip refers to the people below as opposed to the blade above. <laughs> Holy hell. That just seems a bit unstable. It doesn't appear to actually be able to carry it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, it self-destructed it. Okay, let's pray. Go on. <gasps> I think we've got it, you know. Oh my god, this is so cool. Whoever sent me this one, I, I, I'll, I'll consistently be saying that, I'm afraid, because I was too stupid to note down the names, but whoever sent me this, thank you so much. Whoa, um... What? The holy hand grenade is this. Everybody pray that we doesn't make contact. <laughs> make contact with us again. No, we, we're not actually going to collide with anything this time. I would book Jesus the amount of carnage I'm about to wreak on the floor. Holy hell! That is so awesome! Again, thank you to whoever sent me this. These things actually have a chance of beating the hell out of them. Any casualties from the wood? Oh, we actually destroyed- We actually killed poor Aldous! Oh, I'm so sorry! He got killed by falling wood! And that's the one time I am not using a knob-lobbing machine where I can actually say that. Oh! Oh my goodness! That is amazing! Oh! I didn't expect that one! Is, is that about to hit the cameraman? Dave Duck! Jesus Christ! Of all the places the rubble could have gone, straight toward the camera was the one it chose! Whoa! Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think I understand why it's Happy Balloon Spider, because it's absolutely off its cocking rocker, and it's just cock- that's it. It just has a balloon. The balloon is there because it's happy. It's happy because it's got a balloon. Are you kidding me with this? Can I even control it? Are there even any controls for this? Why? <laughs> you are given no control over the beast, except making its poop a shooter. And that's it. That's all you get. Otherwise, it's just a creation left to its own devices. Now we've got Happy Man. If that was the... <laughs> Excuse me? 
Is this supposed to be a cock and balls? Why is his head and neck about an inch away from his bloody knob? What is this? All oh, the control scheme's actually quite clever because T and G's for, to go. Oh, I get it. That's where, he looks like got roller skates. This isn't a happy man. This is a skater boy, so I'll say see you later, boy. He was the girl, but not her. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! They get scooped up and thrown to Saturn. Oh my god, well at least that poor little bugger did look at him. 10 points for the dismount, 100 for the dismemberment. Oh, Happy Man is no longer a Happy Man. Happy Man just got his bell wrong. He just landed on his head. And I've realised Invincible's on. I don't want it to be on. I want to see him get bloody destroyed. Oh. <laughs> oh no, he's completely fallen apart. Oh, that's sad. Oh God. He just broke the top half of his bloody head off. The only thing left here is the part that Daniel Fortescue doesn't have. Incestual snake? I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what, what the... At what point is this a snake? This is about as much as a bloody snake as I am a Ron Jeremy. Um, are we going to take off? See? Oh, that did... <laughs> I can safely say that the initial thrusters did not help our takeoff. Unless, of course, the definition for takeoff is take. Whoa! What the hell? What the hell? Okay, the snake has broken loose and it is breaking apart. I think I might need to turn Invincible on. Now, let's see what this thing can do with Invincible on. It seems like many people create this with, like, Invincible in mind, which doesn't really work. Will you take off, damn it? Is it supposed to fly? Because it doesn't appear to want to fly. It just wants to die, bless it. Oh, Kidoki part of it just blew up and off. I get the feeling I'm missing something very important with this creation. Either that or it's just meant to be a windmilling knob inside of a goddamn cage. I mean, look at this. You can you can propel it as much as you want so it just flies off and then next thing you know it's just going to crash land into something any day it likes. No, it's actually just going to keep on going? How have you not crashed? How is this thing more stable than the other plane? It's just a Predator drone. You can't even control this thing. I mean, I can turn the, I can turn the engines off and then it's fucked. Oh, its feet are being destroyed! Jesus! Super slow-mo for this impact, its beak's about to break! I didn't make it like this, it was broken when I got here! I hope I don't get the bill for the damages! Yarf. The tentacle dick! Okay! All of my interest has been piqued with this! And this one's also going to tank the frame rate and possibly crash the... No, it didn't. For a moment I thought the spinning bit was a part of it. Just for a moment. What the Jiminy? What is this? What is this? What? It's fucking face. Look at that shit. Look at the innocence on that. Ladies and gentlemen. I literally have no idea what's about to happen, but I'm going to press H and these people are about to get diddled by what is seemingly a three-pronged penis with actual pricks on the end of it. And Wolfgang and Theobald just got absolutely balsed. Oh, Jesus. If this is the way to complete the mission, then I think it's safe to say that the description of that victory would be listed as dicking around. If I let go of H, it's going to retract, isn't it? Yet, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> that's just, that's just concerning. I think it's safe to say that we just discovered a weapon of mass destruction. Right then, all we've got to do is get this to actually fly. I was so proud of my creation, it's not even enough goddamn propulsion to get it off the freaking ground. Okay, let's try this again. Well, good news, bad news. We <laughs> we've got enough propulsion to go forward, but we don't. I think we're too heavy. I think we should take off some of the wings. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn, why are you doing this to me now? You weren't doing this the entire time! There you go. And it's still not going up. Shit! This is such a fucking pain in the ass. At least the <laughs> At least they managed to go up. A fraction of my creation actually got off the freaking ground. Okay. Yes! Yes! Holy fucking Louia! Is it gonna drop the bomb in the right place? No, but we can work on that. Fucking did it! It's so non 
couldn't learn any other way but the way that it needs to work right now, but god damn it, I finally got it to work. That was so awkward. Go, 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 drop, and... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. <laughs> Thank you for dropping in for that one. I actually managed to make something fly by myself. Like it doesn't control. It doesn't. It doesn't. You know, turn. But all I need to do for that is spinning blocks with the wings. I know how to do that. I just didn't because I didn't need to do it for this because. <laughs> I spent like 20, 30 minutes trying to get that to work. Mainly because I made it way too heavy. I mean, it's like, you're trying to make something fly. I might want to make it lightweight and not put three freaking cake layers of worthless nothing on it, which is exactly what I did. And while it wasn't too intricate, it wasn't too fancy or fantastic, it still flew. That's all that matters. So you can get away with it being plain. <laughs> Do you like the word jokes? Do, do, do you like them? I, I love them. And with that, I think I'm gonna cut this episode off. I tried to mix both things, like, you know, user creations and, well, just shared creations in general, and me making stuff, for instance. There's the balloon boy at the beginning, which was terrible and inspired by Matt Shea, who did a much better job. I have no idea what he did, because he didn't show it. I'm bad, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like, seriously, I don't. I have been dicking around with this game, but when it comes to them adding new things like balloons, I don't know how to fully and properly utilize them. At all. But regardless, if you enjoyed this mix of user creations and mine, even though there wasn't too much of my creations that you saw, in terms of time spent, it was equal. <laughs> it was 30 minutes on user creations and 30 minutes of me failing to make something. You only saw about three minutes of success, I imagine, if even that. But if you did enjoy it, please do let me know, because I'll try and keep that formula in the future when I'm doing more of this, which I definitely will, because one, they were updating the game so regularly that they're adding things consistently, and two, even if they weren't, it's still fun. So yeah, assuming you did indeed enjoy this and want to see more of it, I guess I'll just be sitting here hoping and praying that this series takes off. And that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please do like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And should you find yourself wanting even more of it, then there's likely a playlist filled with even more of what you just watched. And you can always feel free to follow me on whatever social media you desire to stay ahead of the sub boxes that typically lag behind. And hey, if you found yourself enjoying this more than you thought you would, then feel free to subscribe and check out anything else I've done in the past. So yeah, thanks again for watching all the way through to the end, and should you want to watch more of this, I guess I will see you in the next video.